What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys the review for Love Hip Hop New York. This is the reunion part two. I know the setup looks a little bit different. I'm not gonna give y'all all the special effects and shit, but we just get into it. So first, can I say uh, I didn't talk about it last week, and I'm gonna touch on some things that I probably didn't touch on last week. But did y'all see how Amina broke uh, Tyra's face? Uh, I'm prepped, like broke her motherfucking face. So we gonna see what kind of motherfucking comeback she got. I can't wait for. I think it's Kim is is it Mama Kim? Cause you got Judy. I think it's I can't wait for Kim to sit here and give me all of my fucking life. I mean, I can't fucking wait. I know we gonna have some stale moments. I'm a like I said. I don't know if I'm gonna come in during the commercials or pause it, but we gonna see. So y'all stay tuned cause this shit finna get good. It's the reunion, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so they doing Cardi B's uh, stuff right now. Not trying to say she's not important, but we just running flashback shit. So let's talk about some shit. So um, it's saying that after getting the abortion, you know, uh, Amina said they were reckless. Y'all are fucking married. It is what the fuck it is. I can't fault her. And I'm going to tell you why momentarily. Now, Whitney says she feels bad for Tara because she feels like it's a constant hit. Take this, take this. Now, Whitney has every right to feel that way. I don't fucking feel bad for Tara. Why? Because you sleeping with a fucking married man, okay? You busted out. You laid it low and spread the shit motherfucking why? I can't feel bad for you. You sat here and got raw dog and fucked and had your motherfucking back fucking... Your back blown out on a motherfucking blow up air mattress. Give me nothing but Phaedra Felon, Phaedra Parks motherfucking tease. I can't fucking do it, okay? I'm, I, I'm not I'm not finna side with her. I, 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 I'm not gonna sympathize with her. Let me, let me pause this shit, cause, cause y'all don't get, y'all don't get a full one. You know what I'm saying? I know I didn't get a shit to you for the housewives, but I'm more connected to this than the households of Atlanta and Potomac. What, what else? Then Tara says she left Peter. If she now, and but then she also said last time, if I wanted to get married, I would have married him. Use a fucking lie because were you not the same motherfucker that took your ass to what was it Barbados? Y'all, uh, fact check checkers, get get me right in the uh comment section. I think they went to fucking Barbados for what? Because you because you thought that he was going you know with you away, and then she said you know because you made her your wife before me. So if you wanted to get married, you would have been married, but you admit that he married her before you so but you wanted to get married but you didn't get married so you've been with this nigga for what 12 13 14 fucking years and all you was good for was some good motherfucking pussy and, and nothing against the children but you bore three of his children but she came along and in a short period of time she did and i'm gonna just say a year what the fuck you could do in 13 motherfucking years that's why the fuck your ass so motherfucking pressed shit i ain't, I ain't got to, I, I ain't got time for the dumb shit i ain't got time I ain't got time for dumb, simple assholes. Okay, I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time for this shit. Hell, gonna have me running my motherfucking blood pressure dealing with this simple ass motherfucking bitch. And you know what? Amina said it right. No, she wasn't right. She called like, you a mistress. No, she not a mistress. She, cause see, a mistress know how to play her motherfucking position. A, a mistress is just like a whore. The only thing is, again, what happened to women playing? What happened to people playing a motherfucking position? Again, I, I swear, I miss the old school fools where shit, mother was cheating and you ain't even motherfucking know it. And it, and if they was cheating, both the motherfucking mistress and the motherfucking person cheating had enough respect for the spouse. You know what? I'm, I'm giving y'all two merch. I'm giving y'all two merch because the bitch ain't even married. So why, do I, why the fuck do I care? What else? And then Tyra said Amina has no respect for relationships. I give you that to an extent. Because she knew y'all were fucking around. But again, the common denominator is Peter. Bitch, you have... And if anybody getting mad because I'm calling her a bitch, I call myself a bitch. I call myself a whore, okay? I say I'm a whore monk all the motherfucking time. So if your fucking feelings hurt, you got some motherfucking feelings, y'all gonna sit here right at her feelings point and get the fuck off my damn page because I ain't got time for the fuck shit. But... And I lost my damn trade though. But you have no fucking respect for fucking relationships when you know this man is fucking married. You still fucking him to get back at her. You telling her I can get on it whenever I want to. This, that, and the motherfucking third. But who ain't got respect for relationships? Who the fucking got respect for boundaries? And the same way you lost, the same way you got him, the same way you lost him. Why the fuck you so pressed? 
Is the person that you took him from, was she doing the same shit to you? <sighs> Amina says she is moving on. She gonna move on while she pregnant. Unless Peter gonna change. I believe when I see it. And Peter said he gonna work on dealing with himself. So motherfucker, we gonna see. Let's see what they got, what, what Carter B gonna give us. Hold we didn't really get anything new with Cardi B because they just talked about a lot of what we already knew and how she was. But here's what I'm going to talk about. Because we saw the clip of her going in. And that's what I just got caught up on. Now, I understand that a lot of people did not like it from the uh, perspective, from the, um, uh, yeah, pretty much from the view, because I, I can't get my, my, my words and thoughts right, that it's almost just like she's defending Tara and Amina when they're all wrong and I'm glad we got to and that's why I didn't want to comment on I wanted to see everything in this in this totality I don't first and foremost if you read cozy into it she shaved the fuck out of Tara and Amina but here was the funny thing what nobody talking to Peter okay wasn't nobody talking to one shot one kill guns wasn't nobody talking to this motherfucker but he decided to interject himself into some shit that had nothing to do with him because here's the thing i'm a fucking dude you know what i'm saying i, I don't be holding around you know what i'm saying but shit hey look whole slash whore runs in my motherfucking family and if anybody know my motherfucking family y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about and i'm talking about the motherfucking men we'll give the shit motherfucking 1000 right now and of course yes it is fucking double standards let's accept this shit for what the fuck it is but all she's saying is if i'm gonna sit here and give you something of my motherfucker you finna give me something in return because what you finna sit here and get your bricks off and that's the fuck it but the fact that and here's the thing my look she was not defending Tara and Amina, but he, here is a prime example. When ain't nobody fucking talking to you, you stay the fuck out somebody motherfucking business, especially when your motherfucking house ain't motherfucking clean. Because he talking about, so you don't know me. Bitch, I know what the fuck I see on motherfucking TV. And she read his ass for other motherfucking field, and he stood the fuck up, and I am so fucking happy that the men came and were like, you know what they say, the Jesus be a shield, Lord be a shield, the, the, men, the creeps was a fucking shield. It's like, you ain't finna sit here and stand up on her yeah, that's what the fuck you ain't finna do and I, I would give it to the men for that I don't give most of these shit ass niggas shit on this show but I will fucking give them that so I'm not saying she defended them but this is a prime example when ain't nobody fucking talking to you and when, she, when this ain't got shit to do with your motherfucking monkey okay see see <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to fucking behave right now. I'm trying to fucking behave. But that's all the fuck that I'm saying. So I'm here for the what, what for what the fuck Cardi B said. Real motherfucker. Now had she just went on him and there was no cause for it, then yeah, I would have an issue. But hey, you know what, Peter? You shouldn't open your motherfucking mouth. And you know what? And guess what? You you smooth got your ass smooth the fuck off stage, okay? It was too hot, he got his ass out of the kitchen. Now let's go ahead and pick this shit back up. I'll be right. Alright, I'm gonna just talk about some shit right quick and I'm multitasking, <clears throat> so y'all gotta forgive a motherfucker because they really didn't give me Ashley. No, I'm gonna be nice and I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all, then I'm gonna come back to this. <clears throat> so you got you on Silver Rose and Cardi. Um, one, I'm gonna say uh, you on was looking like um, some, you know, fucking gift wrap, like some gold motherfucking gift wrap, and then I'm just saying like her hair was kind of blended in, but it, it, it was too much blending. It was, she, she was giving me Kim Fields just with straight motherfucking hair. I didn't like it. But, um, Cardi B called self a hoe. We got that. Rose says the young was irrelevant. Got that. Here's my shit. Peter go tell self that he need to pick one. I'm, I'm going to just leave it there because cause I, 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 I don't want to have to sit here and have another come to the Lord meeting with fucking Peter. I think I'd have said a motherfucking no. going to say tell a motherfucker to take your own motherfucking advice, bitch. But Cardi B said something and I, I want y'all to pick it up. She was like, <clears throat> pretty much saying I could be mad, <clears throat> but my biggest revenge to you is to let you keep them so you can go through it and see. I'm like, you know what Cardi B, bitch. I li I, 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 see, I like her. I like to, even though she ain't give me everything I wanted. That right, that was a word. I, I hope y'all picked it up. That was a word. That was a word. That's okay. So there's a lot of intertwining and shit that was going on and trying to figure out who Erica was and what Erica plays with. We all know that because <clears throat> all right. 
how can I say this? Hmm. Two different stories. Mm. You had Eric, not Erica, you had Samantha saying Erica was always in the picture. Erica was with Mendici first. Then Yan became alone. Now, Yan, it was just like, when I was seeing Mendici's, I was dating somebody else, which I'm, and I don't, a lot of people will be like, ooh, everybody got a different definition of dating. Because, like I said, if y'all don't want me alone with none, y'all real definition of dating is I can date whoever the fuck I want. I can date multiple women at the same damn time. Date. Date. And if anybody try to sit here and talk shit, I've been celibate for 15 fucking years, so, you know, just just, just calm the fuck down. <clears throat> but this is my definition. Now, when I sit here and say, I am your man, you are my woman, we are committed, we are in a relationship, then that's when it's one one, all the other ones, hey, y'all falling by the wayside, get the fuck on out of here. <clears throat> Ain't tripping about that. <clears throat> but apparently they were on a break. He went back to Erica, not Samantha, and got her knocked up. And that's why their children are 10 to 12 months apart, whatever the fuck that timeline is. But that seemed to strike a nerve. Yen. Now, Kim was saying that Yen is fronting because she ain't the best motherfucking mother in the world. Because she trying to sit here and say that she stepped my mother a year. But you don't even take care of your child because you have a step. Because you have a... um babysitter because of how busy you are no different than what the fuck fake tra parks does because yeah i'm trying to figure out why the fuck you don't know what the fuck you saw in school and shit. you know what <clears throat> we ain't doing that we not gonna cross platform but y'all know what the fuck i'm getting at now samantha doesn't like that yanny picks up her son from school and does not consult with her doesn't even say hey i want to pick him up she just picks up all the children now if Samantha's son is living with them, then she kind of has, she has that right. I mean, if she, if the son is living with them and Medici has a cousin, yes. Now, if it's not like that, then yeah. But even still, there should be some communication. And my thing is, you the stepmom, this is the mom, kind of want to be in good relations, you know, but I don't know. And then we come on the whole not taking the child to prison uh, to see the father. Everybody has difference of opinions, and even Remy stepped in, which is like, well, this is my situation. And here's the thing, y'all: whether or not somebody decides to take their child to see the uh, the fucking parent in prison is up to that fucking parent. You may never know. And Samantha even said, "I wouldn't want my child to see me in prison," so that's why I'm saying this, regardless of what happened, whether or not they see a child in prison or not. Nah, or see their parent in prison or not, it doesn't matter because there's still going to be some type of psychological drama going, you know, or trauma going on. So, what the fuck ever, but Kim the sat, and I mean, you know, fucking, uh, not Kim, what's her name? Judy the sat here and got bugged, talking about, you robbed the bank, talking about Sam, and I had to bail you out this and third, I don't know who the fuck you is. Now, y'all know it was only a matter of time before Kim, you know, I sent the fuck off, and neither of them said, you lost weight? Yeah, because I, I need to be ready to sit here and pounce on the motherfucker if I get a drink thrown on me, so we about to see her sit here and come the fuck out finna go track stop. She finna give me some more knees jumping over barricades and shit, baby. We gonna be right back. Now they showing us uh, Mendici's last days. Call me heartless. I don't give a fuck. I told y'all when it came to this shit right here. Hey, it was certain shit I wasn't gonna cover. The only reason I had to talk about Tyra and me and that motherfucking Peter because they pissed me off. I don't give a fuck about this shit. I I don't. I don't. I'm sorry if I'm heartless. Whatever you know, char ch charge it to the list of all the motherfucking heartless shit I didn't said and did in my fucking 29 years living. I don't give a fuck. But. Let me say this, because I'm telling y'all, y'all got to learn. Judy, why the fuck did you stand up? Why the fuck did you stand up? Because here's the thing, she stood, once you stood up, that's when Kim got the fuck up. Kim was about that shit. Now, here's the thing, peep game, did y'all see the big motherfucking security guard stand? They ain't let the small ones come in yet. Let the big one, and she was moving, like, you can't tell me she ain't playing no motherfucking football, baby. Like, and, it, and she, like, literally... Guard up and shit, you know, like on some real shit. Like, get the don't touch, don't touch, get the fuck. I was just like, man, if they let Kim ass fucking go out, that gave me my life. Even though ain't no contact was made, that gave me all the fucking life I needed right the fuck right now. You, did did y'all get y'all life with that? Did y'all get y'all motherfucking life? Y'all let me know to right now. This this was the highlight. Right now, 
I mean, we got like 20 more minutes left. It ain't much they can really give me right now because we know Remy finna do her performance and shit. So that's gonna take up about, what, five minutes. It's gonna be probably towards the very fucking end. So we got maybe 10 more motherfucking minutes of this shit. <clears throat> and they about to talk about, you know, Mendes' sentencing and going away and shit. <clears throat> I don't care. But I'll be back. Okay, so everybody is trying to turn the shit around, in my opinion, on Samantha after seeing the shit. And, every, and here's the thing, everybody has a fucking opinion. They do, I even have mine. Again, I, I really have no stance. I, 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 I can't say whether or not they should or they shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Because it's one of those where the child can sit here and hate the parent either way. Like, why would you expose me to this or... Why didn't you let me see the child? And I think that Little Man DC, even though I don't know how old Little Man DC is, my whole thing is, especially with the whole Judaism, if he's 13, let him make that decision. And if he wants to go see his father, let him go see his fucking father at that point. But I don't know. But I was here for Samantha when she said, I ain't got no fucking sympathy because I went down the road and I turned my shit around. Regardless, she robbed a fucking federal bank or robbed a bank, which is a federal offense. She ain't got sympathy. I like Sam. I like Samantha. I like Kim too, but the fact that she was so fucking cold-blooded with the shit, baby. But y'all let me know how y'all felt about that whole scene. Y'all let me know if y'all agree or if y'all disagree. Please let me know. Let's be respectful down now. Okay, let's be respectful because we all family. Now, I know we got people that ain't a part of the fam come around yeah, but still. Whether, part, whether or not you part of the family or not, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it respectful. Because here's the thing. I don't give a fuck. I got thick skin. But at the same exact time, you know, and this is for either, you know, subscribers or non-subscribers. If either one has an opinion and no matter how left it is, we can agree or disagree, but let's just be respectful about it. I do ask that, you know, we keep that whole negativity shit to a fucking minimum. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's no need to sit here and, you know, do all the whole name calling this and that. I mean, if you, and here's the thing. We, you got freedom of speech, so if you want to fucking do it, by all means, go ahead. But I'm asking, let, let, you know, let's keep it respectful down there. I'm pretty sure we all are old enough to be able to articulate ourselves, whether it be verbal or with them Twitter fingers down there and be able to articulate how we feel without necessarily being, you know, overly disrespectful and condescending. So... It's on commercial right now. We'll see what happens at the very end again. I think we probably got 10 minutes at max with this shit. So I'm pretty sure we're done. But still, we'll see. I'll be right back. I'm watching Remy's performance. And like I said, we all know she beats and shit. I'm just trying to figure out why the fuck is she looking like a disco ball. And then the other two bitches looking like a motherfucking gold member. Y'all let me know and I'll be right back. What I find to be so funny is on this platform, right? All the other girls had their opportunities to sit here and perform at these other things. Who they get a stage to at the very end at the reunion? Let us see the full entire performance. Tells you something. So, I mean, even though Young B was getting it, Young, Young B, you ain't got to that perk yet. You ain't at that perk yet, but I'm just saying. All right, so we are done. Uh, <clears throat> Rich said he's in love with Moniece, and he's going back to go get her. Could this be the reason that, you know, the storyline between her and Malone ain't working? Because apparently, you know, word on the curb is uh, he has his own uh, show that's going to be produced by the Tuckers. I digress. So he's gonna go right the fuck back to Hollywood to collect another motherfucking check. But Rick, come on, fuck whatever you want to. Other than that, I hope I entertain you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this review for this reunion. I know it was long. I gave y'all all that I can give you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all motherfucking ass here next Monday for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Till next time, y'all. Peace.